Hey there, people. I'm Lenny Rudo, angler in chief at Fish Talk Magazine, and I am a diehard fisherman. So when I jump on a fish boat like this Cobia 301cc, sitting on the seat against the transom is about the last place I normally want to start. But there's a very important thing about this particular boat that you need to know, and it's hidden from the eye. This is where we're going to get a little peek at it. So hold on while I press this button. This boat is built with the Varus Vacuum Assisted Resin Infusion System. Now what that means is major structural components like these stringers and the transom. They're all shot with resin together with the hull. So you end up with one piece instead of lots of different pieces parts that are laminated together. What does this mean out on the water? Well, when this boat hits a wave, it doesn't vibrate and reverberate. It punches through it. Is the rest of this boat built just as rugged? <laughs> Let's see. I don't see any shaking, do you? At least the boat's not shaking. If it's happening, it's me. While we're back here, we can get right to the fishing stuff now. We got nine rocket launchers in total on the pipes. And what I love back here on the transom, one, two, three, four flush mounts. Let's notice we got not one, but two transom live wells. They got clear lids, they're gasketed, baby blue inside, and lighted. You know, a big pet peeve of mine is when I get on a boat, and I got to haul along a tackle box because there's nowhere to put all my tackle. Not a problem here. Go you thought this out well. You got a big box at the bottom, three regular tackle boxes, plus two bulk storage drawers. You offshore guys are really going to like this. Pop the top. Now you've got a bait tray on one side and a freshwater sink right here. That's a decent little rigging station for a 30 footer. You've got four fish boxes, two aft, two more alongside the console. Up here in the bow, now at first glance, this is obviously the relaxation zone, right? This isn't fishing territory. But hold on a sec before you make that call. We do have comfy seat backs here. You can lean back. I like how Cobia uses this type. You can pull up and swing out of the way. You don't have to remove them entirely and try and find a place to stow them when you're ready to fish. All these cushions come off. Pull them, get them out of the way, leave them at home in the garage when you're going fishing, and now you've got a casting platform. Now let's say you're out offshore, you want that cockpit depth, not a problem. You press a button, this guy goes all the way down to flush with the deck level. Okay. Now we're going to go back into relaxation mode. we got a cocktail table to hang out around. Here's another feature that's going to be of more interest to the family folks than the diehard anglers, but hey, this is nice to have. You have a front entry head compartment in the console. So this gives you a ton of room to get in and out. This is not one of those squeeze yourself up kind of entries. While we're down here, let's notice we've got a freshwater sink and a couple handy storage drawers. Helm is well thought out. You've got room for a couple MFDs up here. All your switches are right there, ready for you. You got a storage compartment here, you got two more up top, and we've got an electric opening vent in front, so there's really hot, muggy days, you can get a breeze. Alrighty, people, you ready to go for a virtual test run? Well, let's see what this boat can do. It's got a pair of Yamaha F300 outboards on the back, so we got plenty of juice. At 3,500 RPM, we're doing better than 30 miles an hour. Heck, look at that fuel burn. We're getting around two miles to the gallon. That is pretty darn good for a 30-footer. Let's see what we got at 4,500. At 4,500 RPM, we are tearing it up pretty good here, people. We're cruising along at way over 40. That is some fast action. And when you hit the throttles, holy cow, 55, 56. We hit 57.1 at one point. Woo! That was fun. Final note, people. I know you hardcore anglers don't care, but I tell you, the older I get, the more I care. The leaning position and flip down bolster seat are extremely comfortable. So, if that matters to you, amongst all the other stuff we've talked about today, check it out the Cobia 301cc. Folks, we want to give a special thank you to Bosun's Marine for taking us out on the water today. 
If you have any more questions about the Cobios or want to come see our inventory, please come see us at Bosun's Marine in Graysonville, Maryland. Don't miss another cool fish talk video. Click below to subscribe.